I really want a boyfriend. I want romance. I want to feel special. I want those lovey-dovey moments. I want to date again. But the problem is I can't. Like I cannot open myself up to another person and I keep trying and trying but every single time it's like my mind and my body physically won't let me because I live in such peace right now okay nobody is in my life so I'm in peace whereas every single time I have had a relationship or dated it's been so disruptive to my mental health to my physical health that I, it, I can't allow myself to do it and I'm genuinely scared that I'm gonna end up alone forever purely because I will not let anyone in but it's so hard when you've been hurt so much in the past and I, I just don't know how to get past it. Like, you know, like I'm happy, but I'm ready. I'm ready to have someone else in my life, but also I'm not. I don't know. I'm sure lots of people can relate, but yeah. Bitch, guess what fucking time it is. It's literally 8, 6.50. My alarm didn't go off today. And guess what? Today is Wednesday. Today is when I have to take my brother to school. Because on Wednesdays, my mom works. I mean, my mom doesn't work. So then she could take him. But on Wednesdays, she doesn't. She does work. So I have to take him. And oh my god, I'm in a rush because it's 8.50. I have to wake up my brother like at 8, 7, 10. And then um, get him ready by 8.30. I mean, 7.30. So that I can... Um, take him to school and then take my other high schooler brother to school and then go to school myself at eight at eight bitch how am i supposed to do that like right now dude okay hold on i don't think i explained that right because i'm in such a rush but basically i have to take my brother to school by yes shut the fuck up i'm using my saliva it's my face um i have to take my school my, i have to take my brother to school by 7 40 i have to get wake him up at like 7 10 the latest to get him ready by 7 40 but bitch look at me i haven't even done shit i'm not gonna do my makeup i'm just gonna do this real quick and then um put on an outfit and then do my hair fix my hair because bitch i have no fucking time someone said to do my brows before my um before like putting anything on my face so that's what i'm doing so like now i'm doing my skincare um what can call it dude i'm so unprepared this morning like this is not like me usually at least have an outfit picked out i don't even have an outfit picked out and i have to be bro by 17 i have to wake him up you guys know what that i actually did my eyebrows really easily this time thank you so much for that fucking tip i did not know that like i did not realize that so if this gel gets um flaky on your eyebrows try using it when you have nothing on your um eyebrows and maybe it'll help you not get flaky yesterday i posted a video of what had happened to me the night before yesterday but honestly i took it down because i just i was hesitating posting it in the first place but i'm gonna tell you guys what happened like here instead because like i'd rather do that than like put the video back up so let me tell you just because this is really fucking disrespectful and i never fucking like I, this is not like tolerable like bro like that's not some fucking shit you do so you guys know how i told you my ex literally does not leave me alone now that i find like i'm like done with his bullshit like he doesn't want to leave me alone when he's the one like who caused that and he came to my house trying to tell okay so no a couple days before he hit up my cousin at three in the morning three in the fucking morning the devil's hour telling her about talking about oh someone sent me some videos this had me shaking and crying naily you need to help me um this is your your cousin she's on p hub like he even did i said that dude he comes to my house the day before yesterday and he starts he he comes showing my brother a video of some random bitch with curly hair some random bitch with curly hair i have nothing to hide like i know i haven't fucking recorded any type of shit so the fact that like he's coming here with some fake ass video trying to say that it's me okay now get this when he first had got in here he was trying to say that it was me and then once my mom saw the video and saw that it wasn't me um he was like i'm not saying that it's you i was just letting you guys know it's online like that has nothing to do with us and it's just so fucking disrespectful How could you sit there and look me in the face, watch me cry, and lie to my face? I don't know who needs to hear this, but people treat you how they feel about you. If a guy is never texting you, never wants to hang out, only wants to hook up with you, just is like complicated and you're like, oh my god, is he going through something? No, he's not going through something. He just doesn't like you. If he liked you, he would be doing those things. He treats you how he feels about you. He does not like you, so he acts like that. If your friend is being a snake-ass bitch hitting on every guy you like, 
throwing you under the bus, making fun of you around guys, blah, blah, blah. She doesn't like you. If she liked you and respected you, she would not be acting like that. Know when people don't like you. God hates gays. That's another thing too. People are like, gays are sinners. Everyone's a sinner. Everyone's a sinner. So it's like, why are you going to attack someone else when you're literally a sinner as well? Like, you've probably done worse things. Who cares? <laughs> it almost makes me laugh because it's so insane that people... God does not hate. See, God loves. He accepts everyone. He made you. Like, he knows what your next step in life's gonna be. He knows what your future looks like. So it's like, he already knows what's going on. He loves everyone. He made, he made everyone. Like it's not, I don't know. That whole thing's crazy to me where it's like, oh, you're Christian and uh, yeah, I am Christian. Hey, never forget that the reason why combination KFC, Taco Bell, Pizza Huts exist in the first place is because Pepsi couldn't compete with Coca-Cola in the fast food marketplace. See, for the longest time, Pepsi's unofficial slogan was, is Pepsi okay? Because everyone was ordering Coke. So every restaurant was turning Pepsi down. Pepsi took a look at the numbers and realized it was cheaper to buy three fast food chains than to actually compete in the marketplace with Coca-Cola. So that's what they did. They bought KFC, Taco Bell, and Pizza Hut. So once they got those together, they started running them as a division of Pepsi. After a while, they spun that off as its own company called Yum Brands. But if you go to any of those locations, they still only carry Pepsi. Young Brands turned around and looked at the fact that they had three restaurants that all served Pepsi and realized it would be cheaper to go ahead and combine a couple of these restaurants so then they don't have to have as many physical locations to be able to still encapsulate a market. They thought that idea was so much so genius and how much money they would save from not having locations that they then took those savings and used that to lobby both the federal government in Washington and all of your fun state governments to make sure that the minimum wage was kept low, to make sure that they could keep paying people dirt wages so that way they could keep saving money and giving that money back to their shareholders. Which is the reason why today, when I wanted fucking Taco Bell, the goddamn lobby was closed because nobody wants to work at Taco Bell for fucking minimum wage. Because it's 725 in fucking Pennsylvania. The minimum wage in Pennsylvania is 725 an hour. And I just wanted a fucking Mexican pizza. But nobody was there to work to keep the fucking lobby open. And I don't want to eat a Mexican pizza in my car. It smells like shit, but it tastes delicious. I just want to eat a fucking Mexican pizza. And they don't have enough staff to have a fucking open lobby. And also I want access to the bathrooms. But no, Pepsi couldn't fucking compete with Coca-Cola back in 1973. So I had to eat a fucking Mexican pizza in my car. And now my Nissan Rogue smells like shit. I grew up in a pretty emotionally abusive household. My parents were Vietnamese immigrants. My mom was one of those moms that basically think if you have a boyfriend even, like before you're married, then you're a bad person. And here's the thing, I had a perfect GPA in high school. I was valedictorian in my high school. I was class president. I was a virgin. I never touched alcohol. I never did anything. All I did was have a boyfriend and my mom thought I was so bad of a person. And I think as a result, I really lacked a healthy understanding of like, yeah, sex and how to have healthy relationships. I fucking and see it. don't get pissed when people stare. Cause you are asking for it. You wanna go be a fucking adult? Oh, I'm asking for it? You are, you are asking for it. I told you, as clear as day, the conversation that we had earlier, as clear as day, I'm going to calm down, the conversation that I...
right up a fucking line this morning, I fucking could. You know why? I'm at my grandma's house. She lives next door to a fucking primary school. I fake this morning singing, once I was seven years old. Sing that song about fucking smoking herb and drinking burn and nicker. What happened to oil in my lamp keep me burning? To top the whole fucking thing off, on the other side of the house, a busted fucking church. God-loving, Bible-bashing bastard thought it was alright to fucking ring the bells at fucking six o'clock this morning. I don't care who wrote what donkey where, you don't need to be fucking ringing bells at six o'clock in the bastard morning. I will be burning one of them down. Haven't decided which one yet. One minute left in the period. I listen. This doesn't change anything, this set. I still fucking hate you people. And I hate this fucking city. I hate the way you eat your little shitty ass fucking subway. And uh, why don't you fucking build something for Joe Frazier and get that fucking idiot. You guys all gonna go see Rocky 19? Yeah, dude, I think you can win! Alright, uh, listen, I'm out of time. You guys, you guys were here, man. Thank you very much. All of you go fuck yourselves. I don't care if God is real. I'm not worshiping him. That hoe took my bank account balance of 25 ripe dollars and drained it to negative 44.50. I get an email from my bank. I'm like, well, that's not good. I, your bank is like your ex. You don't want to hear from them. So I open up the email and it says you're withdrawn negative 44.50. Funny, because it's not possible. I haven't touched my card in weeks because if my father ever found out that I am down to 25 ripe dollars, I would wave in the wind like a Canadian flag. Like I would never, I would not be allowed to live after that, let alone being in negative 44.50. So you know what I do about the fact that my bank account balance is mysteriously in the negatives, I stay very, very quiet and I do nothing about it. A couple weeks go by, I get another email from my bank. At this point, I'm in tears. I open it up. It says, you are withdrawn 119 negative ripe dollars. I log in my online banking to see what I've spent my money on and I enter my password a total of once. That is one, uh, uno, eins times, once. I get locked out. I cry to my mom on the phone. I'm like, mom, I'm withdrawn $119. I don't know how I entered this thug life, but I didn't choose it. It chose me. She's like, listen, I'll call the bank and I'll try to figure out what's happening. So she calls the bank. She's like, why is my daughter withdrawing 119 negative ripe dollars? And they're like, your daughter should be calling, not you. We're flagging this account. And then they flagged my account. They flagged it. So then I call my bank, which I should have done a long time ago, but I'm very avoidant of that. And finally a guy answers and he has a very thick Spanish accent. He asked me a security question that was like, do you pay two bills with your card? I was like, two bills? What's two bills? He was like, do you pay two bills? I was like, two bills? Who is two bills? Who is two bills? He was like, two bills! I was this close to speaking my high school Spanish to this man just to see if I could get it done faster. Te lo suplico. Tengo que pagar mis cuentas, por favor. But this little Spanish bank man is my god. This man gave me 50 bucks back and I was like, thank you. Thank you. And he helps me log into my online banking so I can see where I spent all my money. And I find out that the, the person who's been robbing me my student loans, which I'm not even supposed to be paying off until two years from now, and they've been with secretly withdrawing money from my bank account this whole time. I thought it was because I kept buying sushi, and that was only about 50% of the reason. In conclusion, I don't believe in God. I believe in the Spanish man from the bank. Thank you. You know what I don't like, and it pisses me off? The way that it's always the person who did nothing wrong, who's like the victim in a situation, who's like been wronged, that has to like be the bigger person. And it's like, no, don't give them the satisfaction. You don't want to give them a reaction because then they'll get to know that it got to you. Yeah, it did fucking get to me. It did. It pissed me off. And what if I want the satisfaction of doing something to hurt them or doing something to piss them off more than they piss me off, huh? I didn't do anything wrong. I have every right. I'll give them the satisfaction, but I'll get 10 times more fucking satisfaction. I can't tell you how many times I've seen this and I've just been so frustrated. More times people in the USA have been saying this, but I've seen it in the UK too. People always say, what race wouldn't you date? Indians. It's fine for people to have a preference, honestly. Preferences exist. Sometimes they're uncontrollable. Sometimes there's, you know, a little bit of racism, a little bit of prejudice behind them. People have to sort that out themselves. But sometimes it's okay to have preferences. Let's say I like a person who has brown hair. That's fine, you know. Preferences exist and they're going to exist. But it's just so obvious. It's so easy to jump on this, like, hating Indian people bandwagon. Why? What did we ever do to you? Like, 
please explain like i've never understood this at all have you not seen simone ashley from bridgerton season two have you not seen dev patel we have some of the most stunning people on this earth have you not seen me <laughs> but seriously like i don't understand where the prejudice comes from and the reasons they always list are stupid like oh they smell they're stinky they're dirty just because we don't live in the western world it doesn't mean we're dirty or smelly just because our food has seasoning sarah it doesn't make us stinky it just makes us cultured okay like, i fucking hate things everywhere i need it to stop immediately when will the time come for the destination to rise giant let's go one day it will come maybe not today maybe not tomorrow but one day what the fuck is wrong with people, right? So, I'm just scrolling Facebook, right? And I'm, I've just come across this. And it's someone that's just passed their driving test. So, the person that she's learning to drive with has put this on their actual Facebook, right? And as you can see, she's um, passed on the 14th of the 3rd, 2023. Congratulating her for passing. She's well happy. Her face looks so happy that she's finally passed, right? Let me skip to the next photo so I can actually get into what I'm trying to say. So there are over 30 comments on this post, right? Admittedly, some of them are like, congratulations, we love driving, uh, I couldn't live without driving, blah, blah, blah. But there's also some where you've got people tagging their mates for laughing, for laughing at her, yeah? Fucking ridiculous. This one here, which is in red, right? He, he has commented his mate. His mate has gone onto the emoji thing. I've clicked on the emoji thing and seen that his mates reacted to it and laughed at it, right? Laughed. So I've done a bit of snooping myself and I've gone onto his Facebook. On his cover photo, which is at the top, he's got three young daughters. Three young daughters. Is this how you're going to teach your daughters to grow up, to laugh at other people? Is that, is that, is that what world we live in now that we that we're going to be teaching our kids how to do that how would he feel if his daughter come home crying to him saying that someone's laughed about her image or laughed about something about her because i'm pretty sure he ain't gonna like it either i think it's absolutely fucking ridiculous and yeah this might be a ranty video but that has fucked me off. How do people think it's acceptable? And you can't comment on it. As you can see at the bottom, it says that you need to be a member. So you had to have taken driving lessons with that person to be able to be accepted into the group. So these people here have been on driving lessons with this company and this company is allowing people to comment their mates' names to laugh at her. This company's allowing that to happen. And you want that person to teach your son or daughter how to drive when they're allowing people to do this, mate. Baffled, baffled, baffled. Sort it fucking out.